What's up guys? Welcome to the very first episode of the BitBox. Today we have a very special unboxing for you. It's the Ben Eater 8-bit breadboard computer and uh, I ordered this a while back. I thought it'd be a fun way to kick off this channel and just have some fun. So let's get into it. So it comes in four modules. We get these four nice little boxes. You can buy them one at a time or all together. They're all different prices though, so. Um, we're gonna start off with module one, which is right here. And I'm gonna put these off to the side right here. Okay. Um, just slide this. And let's see what we can do here. Open it up. And I better open the other side too. Slice through that. Pull this open. Open it all up. Anyways, you got some very nice packaging on the outside. It's taped together real well. And in the box, we get this uh, bubble wrap and instruction manual. Very nice. Ben Eater. We got the picture of what it's going to look like. We'll go through that later. We got some wires, leads, jumper wires, and uh, I think this is the power supply. So we can go ahead and uh, take a look what we got in here. So in this bubble wrap, we have a lot of transistors, capacitors, little 74LS chips right here. I'll open that up in a second. We got this breadboard, feels pretty solid. Very high quality right here. Nice. Feels very firm, and so you're getting some good quality with this. If uh, I very recommend uh, all of his stuff. He has great videos. Maybe you should check him up. Click the link in the description, or it'll pop up right up there. And uh, let's see what type of power supply we got in here. Oh, sweet. So we have a nice sturdy feeling power supply that comes with this and uh, these are all cut to length it looks like it that's very nice and it's gonna pretty easy to open up and use ah let's open this up got some yellow LEDs blue LEDs got everything in here bunch of this stuff and that stuff all this junk in here. And then you got this nice little tube. Contains all of your chips. The 74LS series is the main use. These are the 55 timers, 555 actually. Um, he uses for the first clock module as this is what this is gonna build. And you can kinda see what you're going for up here. And when you open this up, you Get a cool description about all the precautions, things you need to do. You get a parts listing, tells you about each of them. You also get some extras included in the kit. You got some extras in case you lose them, so that's nice. And then you got your schematics over here. Shows you how everything's supposed to go. And a little overview of all the chips in here. You got the 555 timer, 74 ls 4 an inverter, an AND gate, OR gates. You got a lot of stuff in this thing, so it's pretty cool. But I think this next box is cooler because where is it? Oh, yeah. This box, this box is the heaviest, and it is this one, sweet. This is the final box that kind of pulls all the modules together, like. The registers and the RAM, the clock, makes it all work and turns it into a functioning CPU or computer as we're calling it. But it's really cool and uh, I'm going to open it up so we can see what's inside. In here I think you get to... get to finish it all off it shows us the completed scenario we got going here I mean obviously ours might look a little different because we're gonna tweak some things but 
This is the box that sums it all up. We got a very, very large amount of breadboards. More of those high quality breadboards we saw from earlier. And they're just rip the bubble wrap open. And then, can't really pop it very well. I love that stuff. But yeah, we got a lot of plug-in breadboards, very high quality. It's awesome. Set those off the side right here. Um, and it's just it's a normal cardboard box in there, but we have a lot more chips in this thing. You got most of them are the 74 LS series as well, but compared to the clocks one tube, I think we have gosh darn it. Can't get it open. One, two, three, four. Four tubes of those chips. And we have, oh crap, some more of those capacitors. Red LEDs, green LEDs. And I think we have an Ardu Arduino Nano right here. That's for the programmer for the EE proms which are going to be the main basis of the memory for this computer. So that's good. We get to build our own programmer for that. And uh, these are the EE proms themselves. This is where the ROM of the memory is. All the instructions you want to put are in here. And uh, so you get to actually build your own microcode for this. It's like... So you actually got to decide what command goes where and what does what. So you got to make your own programming language for your very own computer. How cool is that? Um, within this little manual, again, it's a lot thicker than the clock one over here. It has some cautionary statements over here again. Some schematics. Lots of schematics. It wants us to know how we're doing this. Tells us all about the chips in here because there's a lot more tells us every one kind of finishing off this is uh, the Arduino EE prom programmer how to build it right here what else do we have the chip descriptions all the stuff all the extra stuff we get pretty cool oh yeah we also get these LEDs right here where are they the seven segment display oh they're kind of cool to show Right here, here, let's open this up. All right, I'll slide those out right there. It's kind of cool. It's like your little scoreboard display, a little hexadecimal digit display kind of thing. Um, if anybody is wondering where I got these, uh, there's going to be a link in the description as well, like I already said. But I got these from Ben Eater. He has a channel. I suggest you go check that out. It'll be up there, and there's a link in the description. He's a really cool guy, and uh, he makes way cooler stuff than this, too. He has how to make your own video card, all these really cool things like how to make data transmission modules, and all this really cool techie stuff that's probably really interesting to you if you're listening to this so I suggest you go and check him out he's awesome and uh, yeah have a great day